continuing on with Professor Hilton for just a minute. Um, I'm the administrator. I've gone in. I've approved these changes. I've merged them. If I am the administrator and I want to go in and make some changes, um, so I come into this index file, which I'm just having fun with, and uh, so in my Solution Explorer index file, which I'm already there, and notice I don't see any of those changes, so I probably ought to go in and pull down the code, which is always a good idea to have the latest version. Um, the output window for details. So permission denied, the pull operation failed. Now I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> There's no changes to pull. It, it, so it didn't like my pull, but it, it was fine doing the pull and then the push. I can't remember, had I made a change in this particular file? In any case, we'll have to figure out what was going on there if it happens again. Uh, I glanced over it too quick and now it's it's allowing us to pull. Um, and it is a little bit confusing, I gotta admit, jumping back and forth between the two computers and trying to remember who I am and what I'm doing uh, while, while rendering video, videos in between. So there's a little bit of time lapse. Um, it's been fun. Anyway, so now I can see these changes that have been made. I can see the, the changes that uh, Evil Hilton has made. And I'm gonna come in here and say, you know, paragraph. Hey, I, I'm, I, I've got some massive changes, changes of my own. All right. Now, notice the branch that I'm working on here is the work on this one branch. And so, as the administrator, as I'm looking at these changes, I can go in and commit them. So, made some massive changes of my own. And I can take that and commit those to my local repository again. That's not going up to the, the hub. But then once that's there, I can say, hey, yeah, let's push these changes up to the hub. And I can make a pull request to myself, I guess, and then go in and maybe that's not a bad way of doing it just to keep it organized. Uh, hey, self. You know, I, I just changed this file, but if I know I'm doing that, I can come into my repositories and I can say, uh, so I think, uh, I'm trying to remind myself, did I click on this? Nope. So I go to the repository I want to pull it into. So I'm gonna go into the master and it tells me um, that there's these, these changes that are coming in and I can right click on the work on this one and say, merge into the current branch. So notice I'm in the master. I've made some changes. And so I can go hover over the work on this one and say, yeah, let's pull that into, so merge into the current branch. So if you're working with, you know, by yourself on a project, you might use more of this kind of a method. So I can pull that into the current branch. I can see a summary of the changes that are gonna happen. Um, incoming, that one's coming in, um, and I can't remember, now I'm, now I'm struggling to remember the history of what I made when, but we can see here, I've got two incoming changes, the merge pull request and the hey you missed one, and then I've also got the change that I've made myself outgoing, and so those are all the changes that are going to occur if I do this, and so again, I can now say that I've, I've done the merge on my local machine by doing that. So again, I right click on this, say merge into the current branch. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. And now we've got all the changes queued up and now I can go push these changes up to the server. Um, and it's even warning me, give me a little message, unable to push the remote repository because your local branch is behind the remote branch. Update your branch by pulling before pushing. And so then I can say, yeah, let's go pull and then push. And hopefully this language is starting to make sense to you. So I go get those changes and then it uh, puts them in, in order. Now, by the way, um, on these changes, I was gonna talk about this later, but it seems to make sense here for some reason. 
I can see it, it has this little diagram of what's happened with the different branches and the different users and the changes that are being made and when. And so there are two different ways of pulling the, the project together. And one of them, as you see, when I'm in this master branch and I come in here and right click, I can merge into the current branch or I can do this thing called rebase the current branch onto. Now, it's not my intention or desire to go into a big discussion about the difference between merge and rebase because it's one of the things that's confusing in GitHub. But you just picture you have two different users and they both start out working from the master and they both make changes. Well, when if there's any changes pulled in, merged into the master, these other users aren't going to have those changes, but they are making changes. And so they want to bring their information now into the master. Well, you can do it by just merging your changes in, but then you also have to pull the information from the master, which is what we just ended up doing. To rebase is to go say, well, first, before we make any changes, let's go get you caught up. And, and so in the, the history, as we're looking at the local history of all these different changes, it's going to go first get you caught up in your project with the, the master branch, and then uh, bring those changes in after the fact. The alternative is that we, we our changes are merged in, and then we go pull, but then the history gets a little bit wacky like this, where if we do a rebase, it will always kind of line up, boom, 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 in the order that the, the changes took place to the master, if that makes sense. And so if you want to learn more about, you know, rebasing versus merging, they both in the end kind of accomplish the same task. It's just that how do you want to do it and, and do you want to have kind of this more clean history look at, you know, into it? And so I could say, at this point I won't do anything, but I can say rebase um, the branch and then pull those, or uh, well, I don't know why it keeps unhighlighting my sync. So pull and then push. Um, but, but it's already been done, so it's not going to make a difference in this line. Otherwise, we'd have this nice clean line of, yeah, these changes were all incorporated, and then my stuff goes on top of that. So anyway, not sure if that's super helpful. But let's say now that, uh, just to kind of finish out this idea, if I um, go into my index and, and I make some changes, so prof Hilton made some changes okay I've made some changes but I haven't pushed those changes yet and I may even have you know well let's just say I'm just working on my project I'm making changes I haven't committed I haven't done anything yet um, so I'm making changes to this file and then now we're gonna jump over to evil Hilton and he's gonna make some changes as well to the same file but neither of us has have pushed then what happens? And we'll take a look at that in the next video. Spencer out.